Hi, it's me, Yuwa Hamasaki from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10, and we're currently in my apartment in New York City. Luckily, in New York City, I have a very large closet. It is separated into different um, types of clothes. In New York City, we live in really restricted areas. Utilizing space is very important, where we pack our wigs, our costumes, our makeup. I mean, every inch counts. This whole closet is mainly drag. It is about 85% um, drag and then 15% or less boy clothes. I have my towels for showering, I have my underwear, I have my t-shirts, I have my t-shirts, and that's it. Drag basically takes up my entire closet. When I first started doing drag, the definition of drag as portrayed by other girls was to have this pageant look. Padded hips, um, bras, big hair, dramatic makeup. But I think after doing drag so many years and also getting off of Drag Race, it's just finding that middle ground of who I really am instead of listening to what other girls are saying. Up here you have my promo look that I wore for the season 10 promo. You have the shoulder pads over here, and then you have the um, handcuffs over here. And then when you saw in the photos, you saw this big dress. I first wore this for the reveal. I don't know if you guys remember this look. This Asian look. That was the first impression you guys got of me. It sucked away in a Ziploc bag. Do we have to go over this again? Because I'm proud of my heritage, okay? <laughs> Drag has made me a much more confident and happier as a person, and I'm very proudful of who I am. Part of that is showing off my Asian heritage. For the longest time after I moved here from China, I had a culture shock. It was showed on TV that if you're not blonde, blue-eyed, white, um, your culture is to be looked down upon. So as I got to do drag more and more, I found my confidence and happiness with my culture. This coat that I made that I didn't get to wear for the show, because I got sent home. I love shoulder pads because it makes the person look more stronger and make, it gives that um, look of like, wow, like, you know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it. I love shoulder pads. For the finale look, I did this big Asian look again with a big headdress, big fan. I wanted to use the fan because I didn't get to do it during the entrance look. I was supposed to do it, but then TSA didn't let me bring it through, so I was like, let me show it off one more time. I was not even sure what I was going to wear for the finale until three hours I was going to fly to LA to like go to the airport. Three hours, I made this. It's really cool. I don't know if you guys remember, I wore this on the episode that I got sent home. This was when I was dancing in the background and then Aquaria was doing her lines. I was dancing with one of the pick crew members. I was wearing this, pink. This inside was the leotard that I wore when I said, my hot and flexible body allows me to exercise in all different positions. This was the leotard. Now I'm making money off of it. I started sewing at a young age. I used to make clothes for my Barbies and my mom taught me how to do that. And then eventually, I started making clothes for myself and then for friends and then eventually uh, words got around that I make clothes. I didn't even think that it was gonna turn into a business. I just thought, hey, I'm here making clothes, I'm saving money, I'm making the clothes according to my style and my fit, and eventually just turned into a domino effect. Since I got off the show, I really haven't had time to make anything, so this was kind of the first thing that I really made. This little leotard with a peplum dress, some shoulder pads, some lace, some crystals. For RuPaul's Drag Race, the girls that have worn the outfits includes Mona Exchange. She wore that for her best drag look. That was the episode that she said that I wasn't a designer and just a seamstress. She chose the best drag look that I made for her. Also, Miss Cracker, where she did the inner saboteur. I also have this outfit that I recently made. Isn't it beautiful? The fabric came like this. I bargained for the fabric. I'm very proud of that. Come look at the details. Look at the details. Look at the details. Like the inside is like really well made. Like it's lined amazingly. Very well made. When I see another queen saying that they made an outfit or they have a designer made the outfit, I'm always curious like how much they paid for it, if they got ripped off or not. Like if they say like, oh, I paid this amount of money for it, I'll, I won't say it to them, but I'll flip it over and I'll see like, I'll see the seams, I'll see the cut and be like, hmm, girl, you got, you just got ripped off, girl. And then over here, you have my jewelry, my magazine, my crowns, my trophies. The only one missing is RuPaul's Drag Race season 10 winner. That's the only crown I'm missing. I wore this for the first time when I walked into the workroom. 
pretty cool, right? And then I wore these earrings for the promo. You guys remember this? And then I've had these bracelets for a very long time now. I have these probably for like five years, but they're so cool. They're like, I don't know, spaceship bracelets. It sounds nice too. Sometimes when I'm performing, these bracelets are louder than the music when I'm performing because it just moves so much, it creates so much noise. I like to look like a drag queen. I want to look like I have this heavy makeup on, this big hair, these stupid costumes on. I don't want to look like a woman because out of drag, I kind of look like a woman. So I want to look opposite of that. And then I have this that I wore for the finale. It is really heavy. I don't know if you guys noticed, but this is like 20 pounds on my head. Imagine me wearing this at the finale. It is crazy. If you guys rewatch the finale again, in the beginning, I go out wearing this headpiece, but after of like four or five hours, I was like, this, I am taking it off because it is so heavy. It is very detailed. It is very well made. I mean, just look how beautiful it is from front to back. When I make the Ankh dress, I was thinking, what would RuPaul wear down a red carpet? Like, I know she likes to wear flowy dresses, long. And then when I made the headpiece, I just thought, I like futuristic looks. I was thinking Teletubbies. I was thinking of a circle on my head. And then I was like, this kind of looks kind of boring. So let me put a bow on top of it. And then little did I know, it was supposed to replicate an Ankh. Well, here's more headdresses. As you probably recognize, this one. Onk, onk. And then I have more here that I didn't get to wear. This would have been for Hats Incredible. How beautiful is this? This hat is actually worn by emperors back in ancient China. It's very inspired by that. It's made of beads, crystals. It's very, very grand. Whee! So this I would have worn for the Mermaids Challenge. It is very huge. It's big. It's grand. It is just beautiful. Just look at it. It's very detailed. This one I would have worn for Miami Summer Realness. Isn't it beautiful? So much feathers. This was made by one of my really good friends. Her name is Chang Hui Chuang. And this is like a mask with like safety pins all over. It's very warrior-like. For inspirations before Drag Race, I would look up like costumes that were worn in concerts like Nicki Minaj, Lady Gaga, Britney Spears, or Rihanna. But now I just look for streetwear. I think it's so cool, like very urban, like baggy, like, I don't know. It's like streetwear, but good enough for red carpet. And this is where I sell, darling. Shall we make something? Some people like, some people like to paint, some people like to draw, some people like to write. I like to sew. That is my like relaxing moment where I can just tune out every thought and just focus on this. I think I'll be in New York forever. I've tried um, traveling in LA before, Chicago, Seattle, UK, most cities, let's just say that. I love New York City because I don't know how to drive. It is 24 seven here. It is close to everything I need to get to. I mean, I live three blocks away from the fabric store. How amazing is that? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something new about me. But guess what? RuPaul's coming to town to my apartment for dinner, so get out of my closet! <laughs> <laughs>